his name puts Pall Mall on the map. Uh, we wouldn't be standing here today if his name wasn't out there in the world. He's been the subject of a movie and his statue sits outside the Tennessee State Capitol. But in Sergeant Alvin C. York's tiny hometown, you'll find something that perhaps reflects his ambitions the most. At the state park that bears his name, visitors are familiar with his homestead and the grist mill. But there's a small schoolhouse that's often overlooked. WBIR 10 News anchor Leslie Ackerson shows us the plans to restore his dream. It's on the Wolf River Loop Road. It's a small road. If you don't know where it's at, you're just not going to find it. Hidden on a hill in Pall Mall, Tennessee, this small stone schoolhouse stands as a testament to an East Tennessee hero and his life's work. His name is Alvin C. York. He was born here in the late 1800s. A farmer and a blacksmith, York was plucked from this quiet countryside for the battlefields of World War I claims exemption from the war based off of religious beliefs. He doesn't want to kill. He doesn't believe in violence of any kind. It is denied. He is drafted anyways against his will. But his stint in France sent him home a hero, returning with a Medal of Honor. He sort of attempts to go back to his, his old life. He wants to be a farmer. He wants to be a blacksmith. He's now famous. That's not going to happen for him. Using his newfound fame, York looked to expand opportunities for his hometown. He focuses really the rest of his life on providing education to the, the valley here. His efforts began with the York Bible School in the early 1940s, made up of two classrooms, an office, and an auditorium. These are folks that may not have gone to school at all, and they could learn a trade, a skill to you know, better their life with. As the driving force behind the school, attendance faded when York died in the late 60s. Once he passes away, there's certainly no more use to this structure anymore, and it sits abandoned for decades. But after years of sitting stagnant, a vision for the property is taking shape. It's been a long time coming. An uptick of state park visitors during the COVID-19 pandemic brought in more money and a chance to apply for grants to finally fix up the school. And we're really excited about uh, the possibilities of this becoming a place that the people, you know, walk the halls again and, and it's, it's uh, used as Sergeant York would have wanted it used. Park manager Nate Dodson hopes to bring back the magic he experienced here as a young boy. I do remember this imprint of like this 12 year old kid walking where Sergeant York walked. Built from native sandstone, the school has a sturdy foundation, but time has brought leaks, rotting wood and uninvited rooftop guests. We have these really large like buzzards that roost on the ridgeline. And when they take off and fly away, they're literally like ripping the shingles and doing damage. The first steps in renovation include fixing soil erosion, replacing gutters, and brightening things up with a fresh coat of paint. Probably the next goal that would transform this building is the windows. If you could uh, restore the windows here that are the original, getting those fixed, repaired, and getting the plywood off of them, you'd see the sunlight you know, rush back into the building again. Once restored, ideas for the school include a folk life center and housing York family archives. So a place where you can learn trades, you can have people come and demonstrate, you know, lost art skills, uh, you can have music. What we're hoping to do is, is uh, stay true to his goals and vision for the building as, as close as we possibly can. A tribute to a hero and his hometown. People are, are really into a hero and you know what makes a hero is it really like what he did in the army or is it what he did the rest of his life in Fentress County Leslie Ackerson 10 News and this wasn't the only school Sergeant York built that's right the York Institute is a public high school it's in Jamestown which has undergone some renovations throughout the years well park rangers do offer historical tours of the York grounds we have more information on our website as well as a photo gallery of the school and a behind the scenes look at our entire abandoned places series <laughs>